Hi everyone, uh, today I will introduce the first video of a series on basic kills in Xiangqi. Uh, this will be a basic introduction and there will be examples explaining various checkmates involving the king. Okay. Uh, in Chinese, uh, the basic kills are called Ji Ben Sa Fa and they were originally part of the end game. However, uh, as they recurred very often, they were eventually branched out into a branch of Xiangqi alone. And Ji Ben Safa will be the direct translation of basic kills. So basic kills will be the direct, direct translation of Ji Ben Safa. And it will mean methods of checkmate. Uh, it is very hard to categorize them because uh, there are more than one co components to each basic kill and thus far there are over 30 basic kills to master and they are the, the best place for the beginner to start as one could understand the various tactical combinations and put them to use in their game they would also be able to recognize uh, possible threats by the enemy or the opponent on board when certain plays are made uh, this quote was found was given by Nigel Short, and I think it pretty much sums up the importance of learning the basic kills in Xiangqi. Uh, in my book, I've chosen to categorize the basic kills uh, with the pieces, and this is a short summary of the various possible basic kills that are uh, found in Xiangqi. In this video, I will focus on several basic kills where the king is crucial to the kill. And the most important thing that the king can use or assist in a basic kill would be the usage of the royal rule, which states that uh, note the king, the kings of both colors cannot face each other in the same file without any intervening piece. And this five. Uh, basic kills will be the topic of discussion in this video. The white face general checkmate. Because of the royal rule, this will be a checkmate as the red chariot will be deli delivering a check. The advisor cannot be lowered or the kings will be facing each other. And in this example, the cannon has made use of the pawn as a cannon mount and it will be delivering a check to the black king who cannot move to the central file or the kings will face each other. The next very commonly seen basic kill will be the iron bolt checkmate whereby there is a central cannon that will pin the enemy king to the same file. Uh, usually there will be an advisor, an advisor and an elephant uh, to block the red cannon from delivering a check. Another piece, a chariot, will be used to attack the black king in such a manner. The black king cannot the black king cannot capture the red chariot or the kings will be facing each other. Other than using a king chariot combination, which is in my in opinion will be the most commonly seen situation, uh, red can also use a pawn the king or a pawn with a chariot or two chariots. If a pawn was used instead of the chariot in this case to deliver the final blow, it would be called the small iron bolt checkmate. Tianmen Suan will be the Chinese for the kill and uh, it would basically mean Tianmen will be an iron door and Suan will be just a bolt. And the three chariot checkmate can be considered to be a variation of the iron bolt checkmate as mentioned earlier. Uh, one could simply think of it as a repeated iron bolt checkmate. So in this example, again the red cannon has pinned the black king to the central file and red would be attacking, would be prepared to play R++1 for the checkmate. However, there's a black chariot over here, so the process is repeated once. Okay, check, capture, check again. Uh, of course you can use even more material or 
just to accomplish the same thing but uh, that is very rare in actual play and for most circumstances the three chariot checkmate would be more than enough a thing to note is that uh, the three chariot checkmate must not be mistaken for the three chariot attacking advisor checkmate that will be introduced in a later video okay. the next um, key basic kill that we will be going over is, will be the scooping moon checkmate or scooping moon attack it is derived from a one chariot one pawn versus a one chariot end game or a one chariot one cannon versus a one chariot end game uh, the chariot of the attacking party must command the central file and make use of the royal rule incidentally uh, in there was a name that was suggested by the Asian Xiangqi Federation in the past they call it the fishing the moon from under the sea checkmate I found it too lengthy and not very practical for for introduction to non-Chinese speakers so I chose to call it the scooping, ma scooping moon checkmate okay this endgame situation would be uh, one chariot one pawn versus one chariot endgame situation in this case the red chariot has commanded the central file so the black king will not be able to move to the central file so how would red win? red would win in this manner Oops. as the black chariot cannot move away the black chariot will be limited to the red file check and this will be the basic formation of the scooping moon checkmate uh, red would be prepared to checkmate and using the pawn to protect it uh, and it will be a white face general checkmate in uh, nature and black can do nothing about it checkmate and in this endgame situation it will be reds one chariot one cannon versus blacks uh, one chariot endgame as in the previous board the red the red chariot has commanded the central file and the black chariot cannot move away or red will checkmate with r5 equals to 4 but uh, if the black chariot were to stay on this file how can red chase the black chariot away so that a white face general checkmate will be possible this is done in the following manner a check to force the black king to the throat rank and the cannon is put to good use in this situation the black red cannon would be using the black king as a cannon mount to attack the black chariot so if it did not move away the cannon would capture the chariot and red would win anyway and after forcing the black chariot away red would be prepared to sacrifice his <coughs> to sacrifice his cannon for the final kill check and red will capture the cannon for uh, red will use the cannon to capture the black chariot for the win uh, the red cannon would simply move away and the white face general checkmate would be delivered Okay, to our next uh, topic, the general disrobing attack. Uh, there are several Chinese names, and uh, my translation of the kill is based on this, the second second Chinese name of it. It's called uh, Jiang Jun Tuo Pao, and it is basically an attack whereby an elephant or advisor is moved such that it will block enemy material while at the same time reveal the king to be able to make use of the royal rule to aid in attack when another piece is used for the checkmate in this next board uh, which is from the ancient manual the elegant pastime manual volume 1 uh, the general disrobing attack or checkmate is demonstrated uh, this is the puzzle was called Tui Chuang Wang Yue and is one of the Chinese names for the kill and probably originated from this ancient manual. 
which was published in the Ming Dynasty in the 1600s. Okay, in this position, we can see that the we can see that black would be very threatening with his chariots and pawn, and red's chariots and horse would seem to be disorganized. But there's a very beautiful kill. Uh, red would start his attack with a check in this manner. The advisor cannot capture the red chariot or it would be a check by the horse. And this would be the general disrobing attack or the creep or the most key move in the puzzle. With e5 plus 3, the black chariot is denied from returning to defend and the red king would have a central file to command it will, be a, it will have an open file which will limit the movement of the black king okay and what would happen in the puzzle the main in the main line of puzzle r7 minus 2 to capture the elephant was given uh, what would happen if uh, black plate e3 plus 5 to capture the horse Red will move his chariot to the other file where these two chariots will be able to checkmate with the double chariots checkmate which will be mentioned in another, in another video. If Black tried to sacrifice his chariot to buy some time this will be what would happen. Check and black would have the octagonal horse in place black red would be able to checkmate with r2 equals to 4 or r2 minus 1 so in the main line r7 minus 2 to capture the elephant was given red would attack with the other chariot check and sacrifice the chariot on his bottom rank check Checkmate. This will be a checkmate because the Red King would have controlled the central file and the Black King cannot move there. And we shall go to the last topic in this video, the assisting king attack. Other than using the other than being an important comp component in the iron belt checkmate, etc., the king can also assist in other ways that are very creative. Uh, again, the royal rule is crucial and we shall see a very nice example from one of the ancient manuals again. This example is also from the Elegant Pastime vol Manual, Volume 4, Board 366. Uh, it is one of the finest examples of this uh, way of attacking. Uh, in this situation, you can see that the red pawn has already commanded the central file and the black king was cornered. Red will now have to find a way to get his chariot to either be placed here, here or here so that there will be a checkmate. And uh, there was the puzzle was slightly flawed or inefficient but let us go through the example. In this situation, red will start with a check, which will force the black cannon to protect in this manner. Uh, this move was uh, not efficient enough, but uh, we'll, for this video, this would be more than enough. Okay, the red king was moved twice, and it would assist the red chariot in pinning the black cannon to this file so f thus freeing the red chariot from to move to the the other red file or to one of these two files to threaten to checkmate and these were the moves that were given in the puzzle there would be nothing that black can do if black played if black tried to defend with um uh, Say so move by moving his chariot back to the bottom rank, Red could either move here or threaten to capture the, or, or directly move to the enemy's throat rank for the checkmate. Uh, modern day study 
have suggested that instead of starting with R3 equals to 6, uh, Red could have started with R3 equals to 8 and win in the following manner. Again, the king is used to assist in the attack by pinning the black cannon to the red file. And red would simply move his chariot to the other red file and prepare to checkmate with R4 plus 9. And red and black can do nothing about it. And in this puzzle, the key piece would be the red king who was able to assist in the attack. Although such uh, endgame situations are not so commonly seen in actual play, nevertheless it is one of the most brilliant uses of the king in actual play. Uh, in this last example in the video, I will show you a very simple but uh, interesting checkmate with the white face general checkmate. This situation is from the Dreams of Divine Positions another ancient manual that was probably written in the 1500s or even earlier. Uh, as can be seen, the Red King is under heavy attack from the pawns, but uh, fortunately for Red, there was a cannon, a horse and a pawn that were attacking a Black King which was not very well positioned. So, um, how would Red win? Red will start with R4 plus 3 for the check with the cannon. At this point, there, there were three variations in the puzzle. In the main line, uh, R6 minus 5 was given as Black tried to capture the Black tried to capture the red pawn. Red would cap take, would capture the black horse and still deliver a check forcing the black king to the cannon rank and end the game with a white face general checkmate as the black king cannot move to the central file. In the second variation, instead of us h6-5, h6-7 was tried. Red would attack with h3-2 for the check, forcing the black king to the cannon rank again before moving the pawn for this double check leading to a checkmate. In the last variation, instead of R6-7, A5-6 was played. Red would charge his pawn forward. Black would try to defend with A6-5 or Red would checkmate with H3-2. However, Red would simply capture the central pawn with help from the Red King and this would be a checkmate as the advisor cannot be lowered or the cannon will be delivering a check. If Black did not play A6 plus 5, a move a pawn to the center trying to uh, try to negate the effects of the Red King, Black would simply checkmate with H3 plus 2. Okay, so that wraps up this video and uh, if you want to have more material, uh, you can read my book Understanding the Elephant and Shang-Chi Primer which would introduce all the things in even greater detail with more examples that were not shown in this video. Uh, also, every beginner is, is advised to go through the ancient manuals like the Drapes of Divine Positions, the Elegant Pastime Manual and the Secret and Tangerine uh, for even more examples to train your calculative skills and more terms can be found regarding the checkmate in the lexicon of Xiang Chi that I wrote so I hope you have enjoyed this video and hopefully uh, it has cleared some doubts or provided some fundamental knowledge for some of the basic skills here and please subscribe to my channel and I thank all for your support thank you